Hi everyone! In this outfit conversion video, we are going to refit the demo top from our tutorial mod from UNP to CBBE using a conversion reference slider. These types of sliders can be found in many body mods, and the one we will be using comes packed within CBBE. Here are the steps we will work through today. As I noted in the overview video, we are not tackling outfits that have physics yet. I advise that you learn first with regular outfits, although I'll mention a few points for SMP outfits along the way. Since this video is aimed at users who are new to outfit conversions, I'll be going a bit slow and explaining in detail. With that said, I am assuming that you are already pretty fluent in Outfit Studio. If you aren't, please check out the other videos in this series first so that you understand how Outfit Studio works and how to use all of the tools and functions. For all of the videos that I reference in this one, I will include links in the description. First, bring in the outfit that you want to convert. This can be a size 0 NIF, a size 1 NIF, a body slide reference NIF from the shape data folder, or even an FBX or OBJ file. For our example, we will use the size 0 version of the demo top. For UNP to CBBE conversions, some guides say that it's best to start with a size 1 version of your outfit but I found it easier to start with a size 0 for this outfit. I suggest you try both sizes of your outfit and pick the one that's already closest to your new shape. Go ahead and hide the original body that came with the outfit, but don't delete it just yet. We are doing a UNP to CBBE conversion and the CBBE mod, which we've installed either in full or in part to make Outfit Studio work properly, comes packaged with this conversion reference. Go to File, Load Reference, and select UNP Low to CBBE, because I'm starting with the size 0 UNP version. Note that if you start with the size 1 version of the outfit, you would want to choose UNP High to CBBE. For many bodies, conversion references like this come packed within the body mod, or they can be downloaded as separate resources. If you are swapping to an entirely new body, like the one in this example, it is probably best practice to delete all of the existing bone weights unless the outfit has custom bones for SMP physics. If it does not, select all the outfit meshes, go to the Bones tab, select all the bones, then right-click and delete from selected shapes. If there are custom bones, just skip those when you are selecting bones on the list. It should be somewhat obvious by their names which ones are not standard bones. Also note that if you are only converting between two related bodies like CBBE to 3BA, you probably don't want to wipe all the weight painting since that will destroy any custom weighting that has been tweaked for the outfit. Instead, you can just select the new bones of the new body and only copy bone weights for those. We will do a 3BA conversion in a future video to demonstrate this. Now we have to conform the outfit to the conversion slider. Remember that the slider will only work on the reference shape until we conform the outfit. Go to Slider and select Conform All, or remember that you can use Conform Selected instead if you only want to change certain meshes. Then click the pencil next to the slider to put it in edit mode and see how the outfit looks. If anything gets seriously distorted by the slider, then you can edit the ending shape in various ways. Please see video number 42 for more on this. Don't worry too much about clipping for now. We only need to fix really major issues at this point. Focus only on things that will be difficult to correct once the slider has been applied. When you are happy with how it's going to look, click the pencil by the slider to exit edit mode and then move the slider to 100%. Go to Slider 
and set base shape. This will lock our outfit into the shape of the new body. The body that comes with our conversion reference is not a real body and should not be used in your outfit. Its only purpose is to help morph the shape of the outfit. So we're going to delete it and bring in a new body. Right click on the conversion reference body and delete it. Go to slider and delete slider. Now load in the real body that your outfit is made for. If this is not for body slide, you can just bring in a naked body NIF. And in our case, you'd have to find the CBBE reference body NIF in the shape data folder of that body mod. Or what's easier is to just load in the CBBE reference body. Go to file, load reference, and select the CBBE body from the list. If you are not making a body slide project, then you don't need all these body sliders. To delete them, make sure they are all ticked and then go to slider and delete slider. If you're making a body slide project, leave all the sliders there. Now is a good time to go ahead and fix any clipping or other issues with the outfit. Use any and all tools that you need for this. Remember that the inflate and move vertices tools are especially helpful here. You can also play around with this smoothing tool if anything looks a bit off. This is where the real artistry happens and practice makes perfect. Just do your best, but don't agonize over every tiny thing. The mesh does not have to look perfect in Outfit Studio to look perfectly acceptable in Skyrim. You can always try it out in game and then come back to fix things later if you really aren't happy with the results. Next, have a look at the partitions on the original body. Recall from previous videos that the partitions in our NIF must all match those in the plugin. The best way to ensure that happens is to make sure the new body matches the original body. In our case, the original body only uses one partition, 32 body. We have to replicate that on the new body or else we'll end up with invisible gaps at the wrists and ankles when we wear this in the game, unless we make a plug-in patch to fix it. So select the new body, which is the CBBE body in this case, and change the partitions as needed until they match the original. If your body has multiple copies of the 32 body partition, delete any extras so that there is just one of them remaining. In all of our examples, we will be deleting extra partitions, but if you need to add them instead, you can manually paint them or you can copy them from an existing mesh. Here is a quick snapshot of how to do both. With that done, Go ahead and delete the original body. You can right click and select delete or just select the original body mesh and hit delete on your keyboard. The last step is to copy bone weights from your new body to the refitted outfit. For our example, we have replaced the UNP body with a completely new body, CBBE, and so we need to redo the weight painting entirely. Make sure the new body is set as a reference. It should be in green text. And make sure that no vertices on the outfit are masked. But before copying bone weights, there is one extra step if the outfit has SMP physics. To preserve the weighting to custom SMP bones, go to Shape and Mask Weighted Vertices. For non-SMP outfits, you don't have to worry about that. Next, select all the outfit meshes, right click and choose copy bone weights. When that finishes, I highly recommend that you check and tweak any bone weights as needed. Go to the bones tab, tick the show pose box, and then either select and move bones from this list or choose different poses in the drop down list if you have previously saved some. Please refer back to my weight painting video number 31 if you need more info about that.
When the outfit is all done, it's a good idea to save it as a NIF before you do anything else. Select all of your outfit meshes, right click and export as NIF. Save this to your preferred location. I'm going to put it into our demo mod. Now we need to optimize the NIF in NIF scope. You should always do this, no matter what you intend to do with it next. I cover this in detail in video number 22, but let's walk through it here. First, make sure the meshes are in exactly the same order as the original, and rename any meshes now if you want to do that. This can be done in the Header tab. Check that the Vertex description flags are correct, and fix them if they are not by right-clicking on that line, selecting Vertex Flags, and ticking or unticking the options as needed. Next, go to Spells, Optimize, and select Remove Bogus Nodes. Then go to Spells, Optimize again, and select Remove Unused Strings. Then, if any meshes appear darker than you expect, you can try facing the normals and updating tangent space by right-clicking on the mesh name, selecting Mesh, and then those two options that I just mentioned. Lastly, if the outfit has SMP physics, make sure the XML file is linked exactly the same as it is in the original outfit. To complete your outfit conversion, you have to first decide how you want to put the outfit into your game. You can turn this into a body slide project, which I'll be covering in video number 48. Or, if you don't use body slide or don't want to be bothered for this outfit, then you'll want to refer to video number 49, where I will demonstrate how to use this reference mesh to make the size 0 and size 1 NIFs to put directly into Skyrim. Please see the links to those videos in the description for a detailed walkthrough of each approach for completing your outfit conversion. Ooh, we made it! It was a lot of steps, but that's the basic process for any type of outfit conversion. It will get easier the more you do it, so don't feel too frustrated if you aren't satisfied with your first one. Keep at it! And don't be afraid to play around with all the different tools in Outfit Studio to help with editing your meshes. Our next two videos will cover the two options for finishing up and getting the outfit into Skyrim. After that, we'll be focusing on just the first part of this process, reshaping the outfit to a new body. And we're going to spend a lot of time on this to hopefully cover different approaches for refitting and also give you tips for some specific body type conversions. Thanks for joining me for our first outfit conversion. I'll see you again soon for the finishing steps. Bye!